Okay, hi everyone. It's me, Melissa, again, and you're back on my channel. But this time, medyo ibang video naman, medyo personal ang um, video today. It's about my weight and how it's been really hard. Um, if you guys follow me, follow me um, for the past like 10 years, uh, my weight has been my struggle even if no artista pa ako or no influencer na ako or just to me, it has become such a big issue na and daming nahahadlangan na blessings and daming nahahadlangan na things na I could have done for myself but I chose not to because hindi ko kayang humarap sa ibang tao. You know, I have kept everything so, oh my gosh. I have never really said anything about it. Vocally, I mean like me talking, it would always be on a post or a quote or something, but it really affects me. I have been made fun of. I have been bashed. Sinasabihan ako na pinapabayaan ko ang sarili ko. Sinasabihan ako na ano nangyari sa'yo or kaya nawala ng karir yan. Kasi tumaba. But actually, it's a battle with myself that I have been trying to conquer for how many years. Even though hindi naman ako mataba, akala ko mataba ako. I've lost so many projects, um, even endorsements, because sa sabihan nila ako na ah, ang laki mo pala, or you have to lose 20 pounds in two weeks, which is like impossible for anybody to do. It has taken a toll on my confidence. Not only as an artista before, but as a mother, being in a relationship, being with my friends, lagging mainit yung ulo ko. I wasn't becoming the person that I used to be ba. I'm, I wasn't the person that I used to be. And I miss that person because I I just wanna get my confidence back. I want the people around me to get the best version of myself. Lagi na lang may init ang ulo ko. Pag pinagsasabihan ako na huwag kumain or or mag diet, nagagalit ako and these people are only looking out for me but it really makes me sad why why is weight such a big deal with everybody pag lumapit sa'yo babatiin ka, uy ang taba mo or uy kumain ka, payat mo naman it has become a way of greeting or parang nangangamusta which is very very insulting it is rude hindi ko nga alam kung paano ko i-edit tong video na to but I think it's about time na for at least my followers and my fans to know that I appreciate each and every one of you that has been with me Yung sikat man ako, or hindi na, yung pag artista ko is my choice, na hindi bumalik. Because alam kong mahirap pag bumalik ako. The industry is hard. Kailangan matibay ka talaga pag babalik ka dyan. 
And I think kung babalik ako ngayon, hindi ko pa kakayanin. I have anxiety. I'm insecure. I think I have depression or had depression. Hindi ko pa kayang bumalik. May mga offer ako, but hindi ko kaya. I'm not even ready to be in front of a camera. And this, this, all of this is all na kaya ko for now. I'm, I'm very blessed that I have a lot of people around me who support me and love me and encourage me to be better. They have gone... They have gotten me through so much. Um, yung mga failed relationships ko, yung betrayals of people who I thought were my friends. Um, I've just been through so much these past years, and I think that pag pinagpatong patong yun, yun yung reason kung bakit. So, yeah, 30 kin kasi. Um, yeah. Sila yung, it, it, I think yun yung reason kung bakit I became so emotionally distressed and it became difficult for me to face people. I have social anxiety. Um, marami akong events na tinatanggihan or Ayoko kung pumupunta ng mga concert, ayoko kung pumupunta sa mga place na maraming tao because parang hindi ako makahinga. Parang I can go, but when I get there, parang a whole chunk of me is taken away. Tapos parang nababawasan lalo yung confidence ko. I can pretend, I mean, artista ako. I can pretend and smile and you know, hi, hi, yeah. But it takes so much energy to do that and pretend that you're okay. So I have made a decision to improve myself, to get my old self back, to regain my self-esteem and confidence and love myself again so I can love people around me. Um, but I want to thank everybody who has been part of my journey and you, whoever is watching, if I can do it, you can do it too. And I think something we should learn is to be more encouraging to people around us and support people instead na laitin natin sila or push natin sila too hard. Just keep on encouraging and praying for the people and things will happen. You know, hindi tayo papabayaan ni Lord. Um, somehow, I hope that society changes in their in their way of thinking about weight or their perception about weight. Um, it doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't change the person that you are. You are still that person. What matters is what's inside, that we are good people, we are kind-hearted. And alam mo, you're, the people who love you, they will see that. So you don't need to seek the approval of other people. Basta ikaw, just be you, and the people who love you will be there no matter what. So I want to share with you guys um, my fitness journey. I'm sorry if I cried. If you think I'm arte, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just how I am. Um, so I want to share with you guys how I lost some of the weight and some of the inches. And hopefully it becomes a inspiring story for you guys as well. So thank you guys for listening and here you go. Okay, so I am now heading to Mecca to get my final day of eczemia. I'm waiting for my grab because I don't have a driver anymore. Tipid mood and see how the results go. Okay, so we are here. Okay, last day. Zinia 
machine. We're gonna find out. Okay, so when I started this weight loss journey about three weeks ago, it took me two weeks to lose five pounds, but I was diving, I was going to the gym. I went to the gym four times in two weeks, but I did do a lot of swimming in the pool and I eat quinoa. And I stay away from the stuff that I really like, like milk tea, rice, fast food. Um, I usually have oatmeal or cereal or something with fiber. So I lost five pounds for that. I was 190, 190 pounds. Was my biggest pahesa ng buntis ako. And now we're gonna see. We can find out later. tapos ng exam niya si ate ay susukatan na ako ngayon <laughs> the moment of truth kung nag lose pa in 3 more days sana okay so I have lost 10 centimeters centimeters sa upper waist 5 sa mid waist and sa lower waist 6 centimeters which is a lot in seven days and i've also lost i think two kilos not bad but this i show you mars <laughs> it was brush <laughs> But you guys know that eczemia is really, really good because if you have a wedding or a party or event or a fashion show or you're going to the beach or something like that that you want to prepare for, guys, eczemia will blow your mind. In seven days, you lose it just like that. But remember, you have to do the diet, the exercise at the same time as well. You need to help yourself. You need to do magic. <laughs> but it is a jump start, a boost to your weight loss journey and mine as well. I'll show you guys the before and after pictures. Um, I was 195. That was my heaviest. Even if I wasn't pregnant, I didn't reach that weight. But now I was 195 and now I'm 183.3 with the help of Mecca and the help of a few other people. Namely Sipag totally forgot everything that I had in mind to say in this video dahil siguro sa overwhelming na overwhelmed ako and full of emotion hindi ko nasabi lahat ng gusto ko sabihin maybe I'll make another video also to um na mas, mas elaborate siguro kasi wala akong, I didn't I didn't plan to make this or say anything but it just came out so Okay, so basically that is where my video comes to an end. Um, Shampre, it comes with a healthy lifestyle, uh, your food intake, and Mecca helped a lot with the three inch boost to make me more um, determined and more sipagan ko ba na mag lose pa ng weight because of that. Um, kaya thank you to Mecca. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, I made this video on my own. Um, but I am sponsored by Mecca and I love them so much. They have been such a huge help in uh, encouraging me and in helping me with my journey. Um, maybe not everyone will understand this video na ang problema ko is weight but um, weight plays a huge factor in in our lives not only for our confidence but only for 
not only for our confidence but also health wise it's very important and for me it's been an emotional battle with my weight because i have been going through it for such a long time and it doesn't help that people are a little harsh on me but now i'm on the road to self-love and i am very excited to go back to the way i was before and to be more confident again and maybe go back to showbiz again or you know i really don't know what's in store for me in the future but i put all of that in god's hands so right now i'm just gonna work on me i'm going to work on the better version of myself and i'm just really excited and i feel really blessed that i'm determined this time and sa dami kong attempt na magpapayat ngayon totoo na and parang everything is falling into place and ayun so yo yeah um i'll keep you guys updated on my uh, my journey and i want to thank you guys again and hopefully um this video helped you guys out so yeah thank you um bye everyone Remember, be kind!